Hello, my pretties. I'm pretty aura. For my new subscribers, welcome. Um, there's a lot of things going on here. It feels very beautiful. So when I was shuffling, I heard, hey, yo, I'm slipping. I'm falling. I can't get up. Hey, yo, I'm slipping. I'm falling. And, I, and then I just, or, like, it just made me feel like I wanted to cry. Uh oh, why? Get me back on my feet so I could tear shit up. Um, somebody fell from grace, but this doesn't seem like it is a bad person. It just feels like it could be you. Um, I'm pretty sure bad people watch me too. <laughs> but um, I know it's not a bad person because I wouldn't have felt sad like that. Okay? Um, but then the crazy thing about it is all the cards that came out reference something beautiful going on in your life so it's like and then it takes me back to the live that i did on friday where you know we see someone projecting the energy of sadness onto you but i just heard barney rubble somebody projecting the energy of sadness onto you the energy of oh you know there's no hope and 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 woe is me and stuff like that i'm slipping i'm falling i can't get up god is like god just oh my god they Y'all, I'm sorry. Um, you know, as a reader, I'm just sitting here. The, the, the energy is like running through my body. Y'all know I don't never be really at a loss for words, but they just... Whew, um, God is like, who, who are you to take <clears throat> somebody else's projections onto you? God is even saying like, your opinion don't even matter. <laughs> Word, your opinion don't even matter. I said you doing a good job. And so I'm granting you this 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 wish, this wish of, of hope and, and your destiny is bright. We have the star in the world crowning crown the reader. Somebody's going to be a star. Or somebody's going to be internationally known. But I'm known to rock the microphone. I mean, I get stupid. I mean, outrageous. Child. It wouldn't be me if I didn't go from being about the crowd to dancing. Um, somebody got their hands dirty, okay? Somebody is going, is being helped up through the rubble, through, you know, she's in what looks like a, a construction site. You know, it's things all messed up here, okay? I feel like you're all bandaged up and bruised, but there's hope. I see no changes. Wake up in the morning and, and I ask myself, is life worth living? Should I blast myself? That's, that's extreme. But this is how you feel. Some of y'all felt this way or feel this way. And this is, the, I feel like this is artificial. Look at him back here. Look at him back here. Somebody wants to be a cop or a sheriff. This could be a little girl or this could be you. Okay. Um, there's somebody here who, who attempted to unalive themselves. I'm seeing a slash. Uh... You know, there could be somebody here who collects coffee mugs. You need to drink water, whoever that somebody is. There's something here about even going to new earth. I just heard the promised land. So let's take it um, down here, okay? Down here at the bottom of the deck, y'all, we got four wands. Somebody could have just had a birthday, especially, you know, this is Leo energy showing up here. Look at this. You know why you may be feeling sad besides some the way, um, besides people projecting things onto you? First, let's talk about the, the things that people are projecting onto you. If you are a master manifester, or even if you aren't, all right, if somebody could get you to think that things aren't going to go good, just by the law of attraction, they're not. If it, things aren't going to go good, if somebody could, if, if you are a master manifester, get you to be worrying and, and anxious and stuff like that, they know that you're only going to bring in uh, worrisome and a life full of anxiety. It, you're going to you're going to call that in because of the law of attraction is what you're pushing out. OK, so be careful about what it is that you're thinking. Okay, because if you are a master manifester, you're going to manifest it into your life. And that's why the people them do stuff like that. Somebody got a botched BBL. I just heard baboon butt. 
And that's what I'll be calling the girls them with the botched BBLs. So this could be an earth sign. You could be an earth sign that I'm talking to, but this has to do with walking off into stability. Let me show y'all something. You see this energy of earth here? This is what I'm saying about leaving whatever this old earth is and going to new earth. I learned uh, some years ago, okay, when I first started my spiritual journey, that new earth was a consciousness. I didn't know nothing about new earth. I just woke up one day and, I, and, and something said to me, New earth is a consciousness. I said, what the hell was that? You know what I mean? It's when I first started to hear something speaking to me directly. Um, and this looks like this is where you're going. New earth is a consciousness. It's not a physical place. I have spoken to you guys about that before. You could be living right down the block from your cousin, hypothetically speaking. And your cousin is in old earth, which is hell, okay? And you on new earth, which, which, which has a lot of potential, okay? I heard the water's warm over here. <laughs> the grass is green over here, okay? Show me. You could be receiving a lot of new things and, 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 and blessings, okay, in the full time. See, one of the reasons why you feeling sad, why you could be feeling sad otherwise is, and, and I was going to say that earlier, but I cut myself off. Look at this graduation. You see what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. If you just cut a lot of people off, yeah. <laughs> Everybody got to go when it comes, you know what I mean, to um, my relationship with God or your relationship with God and, 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 you know, all who get left behind get left behind. And, and it doesn't necessarily mean that everybody is bad. It, it, there could be another person that's going to New Earth, but they ain't going, they ain't where you going at. I don't know. You know, people got to go. You know what I mean? Your journey is yours. But I feel like this Eight of Cups energy, some of that sadness energy is just coming from leaving things, people, and stuff, and, and stuff behind. Transformation is never easy, y'all. It's never easy. I want to bring your attention to like this, this, this uh, saying that somebody, you know, I learned this years ago, but somebody said this, um, and I learned from it is what I should say. If you have a scar on your leg that you've had since childhood, or if you got it anywhere and it's huge and it's ugly and you hate it and it hurts and one day, boom, that scar just disappears, um, Sometimes you will go back and look and make it and see like, oh my God, you, you, you're so used to it. You know, sometimes you'll go back and look for it. Or sometimes you'll miss it, even though it um, was something that you didn't like or something that put you in a, in a bad space or whatever the case is. And that's what this feels like. This feels like growing pains, okay, is what I should say. But you're walking off into stability. Some of you guys, I wasn't going to read... Um, these cards in reverse, but they just say go ahead. Some of you guys could be feeling, you know, um, like your equilibrium is off. Like you need more balance or something like that. It just, somebody needs to drink more water and go outside more. Like it's just, it's just you need to connect with the earth. That's what it feel like. Especially with this energy of stable here. You've been through a lot. You know what I mean? I feel it. I'm slipping, I'm falling, I can't get up. Somebody saying they want to jump off the, the, the edge of the earth or something like that. And it's like, no, please don't. Somebody feels like they're not, um, wow, somebody's heart feels hardened is what it feel like. Like, I don't even, I don't even feeling, somebody feels like I don't even have time for small talk, like, this is this is how um, I had I had came to you guys. Yeah, look at this. Okay, wisdom. Somebody feels depleted. Like I just, it's you need the ground. You see this? You need to ground ground yourself. You definitely need to ground yourself. Like I say, and it's just like it's just because. You know, this feel like a bumpy ride. It's not an easy road. I'm hearing that reggae song in my head. This was a bumpy ride. Wow. They saying, till I'm laid to rest. Yes, always be depressed. There's no life in the West. Yeah, I know the East is the best. Yes. 
Living is a mess. Rise up, alleviate the stress. Y'all, I don't know who want to cry, but please, y'all. Back up and give me five feet. <laughs> okay? This sense of sadness that I'm feeling is outward. It's coming from outside of me. I know it's somebody. There's somebody here that, that live in a, in, I don't want to say third world country, but there's somebody here that lives in a space, okay? Especially if it's not, it's like, it's like a, a, a country, a state, a community that feels oppressed, where they feel oppressed or, you know, there's not enough resources or something like that. Okay. Specifically Jamaica. See, this is the problem with the seven of swords in reverse. Like I said, people doing too much to you. You've taken too much from people. Like, and, 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 and so you feel like everybody going to do it to you or you just tired. Like, this is what it feels like. I'm slipping. I'm falling. I can't get up. Get me back on my feet so I can tear shit up. I like that part. Get me back on my feet so I can tear shit up. And she says in the background, I got to get up. I got to get up. This is hope. This is hope and it feels so good. You know, that part, it feels so good to feel like this, you, you, you're smart enough to know that this is not the end. This is like after you fight a battle and you want, and you trying to breathe like, oh shit. You know what I mean? But you won though. Four wands, you won. You tired? All right, go lay down somewhere. Drink some water, but then you got to get back outside. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? What is this? Where this came from? Oh, my phone case. Let me see something. Oh. Um, yeah, I knew that didn't fit. <clears throat> Give me a second, y'all. Show me that seven of swords in reverse. Somebody feels overly defensive because of what they've been through in the past. Um, and 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 I, I can dig it. Yeah. You're being called to trust in the universe. Trust in the universe, even though you can't see it with the unseen here. Okay. Do not give into the conditioning, okay? Do not give into that thought that everybody wants you to be a sheep. You're not a sheep. You're a lion. Heavy Leo energy. You're not, you're not a sheep. You lead the pack. You don't follow. That's why you being called into this, whatever this position is. For some of y'all with the star in the world, some of y'all going to be leaders of some, of some sort. Somebody's name is Mousy or something like that. Somebody could be here like real meek. You know what I mean? And because you were meek, um, people tried to step on you. But remember what had happened when he had said, he had said that the meek was going to inherit the earth. Remember? And that's what it looked like is going on here. So what happened? You know what I mean? Your, your vulnerability, okay? And your inno innocence may have made you a victim at one point, but now you're going to be a leader. Somebody is afraid of, or people are afraid of. The person, the people, them, I guess, you know, whoever that is for you that wants you to be conditioned, right? Doesn't want you to see beyond the veil. They don't want you to see what, and you know what this feels like? Again, this feels like escaping the, mat uh, the matrix. I just heard penetrating the dome. Yo, let me tell y'all something. One day I woke up, right? And, um. My ceiling looked like a grid. You hear me? Like a grid that you would see like, like, like on a computer. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Clarify unseen. For those that get it, get it.
Somebody pregnant. I just heard embryo. This could be, this is a rebirth, y'all. This is a rebirth. Look at that, the burden. With this energy of unseen and the burden, this is this is somebody sending negative energy at you. This is when you feeling that sadness and stuff like that. Yeah, going with the flow. Y'all need to take a bath, okay? Look at this energy of change. Somebody's trying to change your perspective, change your outlook on life. Make sure that you're conditioned. And again, that's on a personal level. Uh, this is a collective read, but let's just say that's on a personal level as far as l small, on a small scale. But on a large scale, this is the people then. They don't want your eyes to be open. They don't want you to see beyond a the veil. They don't want dot, dot, dot. Y'all need to go to theprettyoracle.com. Whoever, whoever is going through this, you need to go to theprettyoracle.com and get the bomb bath. Yo, and, and um, y'all can email me about this other bath that I made. I told y'all about this on live. I, I know what I put in it or whatever, but I was just effing around. And that shit was powerful. For those of y'all who know me, y'all know I, I'm the bath queen, okay? <laughs> yeah, I killed the bath game, all right? Um, but it's because I've been through a lot. You know what I mean? And so I, I really do feel like you guys need to cleanse yourself. A lot of these feelings that you're feeling are artificial. The only thing that you should be feeling is growing pains. Okay, but that part about like, oh, I don't have no hope and it ain't no hope for the future. Okay, there ain't no hope for the youth. And the truth is it ain't no hope for the future. You see that? Um, somebody just feels like I'm waiting on the world to change. But you're going to create your own world. You're going to be moved into, you know, th that saying like in your own world. This is exactly what it's going to be. And you got to be careful about um, extending your heart or, or being empathic when you see other people suffering. I told y'all before that there's going to be people around y'all suffering. And a lot of the people that are around y'all that are suffering, they deserve that shit. They do. Little do you know. There's people around you that you could be feeling like, damn, why life treating them so bad? And, da -da -da -da, and they're a good person to me. Yeah, to you. <laughs> You're not God. A lot of people going to be going through shit they need to be going. Look, you feel, I don't know why I just heard uneducated. You feel, um, you know, unenthused, discontented. This is artificial. Y'all need to be, yeah, uh, there, there's something here. And, and, and see, this has to do, a lot of y'all could be going through a lot of stuff with y'all family. And it's like, all I really want is to be happy and to find a love that's mine. It will be so sweet. Yeah, you. Th this this just feels like it's too much. You know what I mean? You feel like it's too much, but it's too much because you are holding wands. Like you're not at the ten of wands. Somebody gave the wands to you. Those these are not your wands. This is not your you. This is not your cross to bear. Okay, it's artificial, and you need to cleanse and protect yourself. For those of y'all that go out and, 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 and buy, like, whatever you go out and buy that ain't as important as protecting your spirit. We are in a spiritual war. It would be crazy for you not to get suited and booted. There's a time for everything. Right now, we are, and, and this war is so important right now. It determines a lot. You have to be investing in your spiritual health. You have to be. You have to be. For somebody, you, you don't need a reading. You need to cleanse and protect yourself. And all of those things can be found at theprettyoracle.com. Okay? Because people like to go for readings at, readings at first. But it's like, you know. If, if it's a complicated situation, yes. But at the... At, 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 the very first thing that you need to be doing is cleansing and protecting yourself. Especially if you're going to be opening up yourself to anybody for a reading. Word. Because bitches out here is weird. I'm telling y'all right now. The, especially the ones that's calling themselves spiritual. Okay? And, and, and leading people. And I have a message that comes out or, or helping people. Doing readings and, and, and you know, whatever. Um, I... I Spirit had gave me a download about that, and I'll be sharing that with you guys in a few. In another read. 
Look at this, success and possibilities. You're moving forward. This is a celebration. And that's why I had said earlier, God looking at you like, who is you to tell me what's going on in your life? <laughs> Word. You're not able to enjoy or celebrate because you're being attacked. There's a monkey on your back. You know what I mean? Somebody, uh, show, me, show me the energy of this person. Find a love that's mine. Oh, it would be so fine. That's what, that's what I just heard Mary say. I want to be happy. Show me this. I ask for a sign from the sweet Lord above. I know the answer is in front of me. But when y'all... There's somebody, there's a male from your past that, or, or you can even be with him right now for some of y'all. Because when you're in love, you only see what you want to see. But all I see is me for you and you for me. Somebody need to get rid of somebody because there's another um, energy that wants to come in that you've known from your past life. Okay? I cannot hide the way I feel inside. What I said, new beginnings. <laughs> And when this person comes in, blessings at the bottom of the deck. Why are you? Well, I, I I just heard I just heard the Joker say, "Why so serious? Why so serious?" And that's exactly how I lead my life. Why so serious? Somebody told me the other day, I think life is a joke. Uh, some, some, some troll, right? Gonna tell me the other day, I think life is a joke. What the fuck do you care what I think for? <laughs> about my life. What do you care what I think about my life? I think life is a joke. Why so serious? Let me tell y'all something about people that laugh a lot. Or something that, uh, about people that, don't take things too serious. Those people believe in God on a whole other level. I believe in God on a whole nother level. That even when I'm at my lowest, I'm going to find a reason to show my teeth. Are you kidding me? I'm going to find a reason to smile. I'm going to find a reason to laugh. Because I know who got me. I know who got my back. You don't, that sucks for you. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what to tell you. I'm, I'm saying about that, that particular person. Like, I know who got my back. I know who I walk with. I know what I deserve. I know I put out good things. I know anytime I go through something negative, it is because it's to learn a lesson. God always look at me like, but did you die? And we laugh together. And I'm sorry that you don't have that relationship with him. But I, that's just what I got going on. And again, that's why you should worry about yourself. <laughs> yeah, new beginnings. Two of Cups and the Magician. You manifested this. Find a love that's mine. Oh, it would be so fine. You hear that? She said, I asked for a sign from the sweet Lord above. God saying, this is what you asked me for. And now you sitting here like this. <laughs> it's not funny. But now you sitting here like this. Like, you don't want to move. You don't want to leave the court. Like, you don't want to go nowhere. You don't trust nobody. Like, God, like, well, how the hell you going to find what you asked for? Or how the hell I'm going to be able to give you what you asked for? You want me to mail that shit? You want me to st stick, stick a label on it and, and send it to your crib? Damn. <laughs> Word. You're going to be happy. Okay. Somebody has bad sinuses. You're going through some things. Your sinuses could be acting up. There's a person here. <laughs> there's a person here that sniff um the stuff or whatever. Party. Okay. But instead, it's not a party. Like this person can have a problem with it. They dark around their eyes and dark around their mouth too. God said that he's going to make that person your footstool, whoever that is for you. Okay? He's going to make that person your footstool. So this is the enemy. 
Show me. Somebody don't have no eyelashes. See this energy of ripeness and innocence? Somebody gonna have a baby too. There's a baby here that's coming. But the energy of ripeness and innocence is what I was saying before about how, um, you know, the meek shall inherit the earth. You could have been looked at as, as, as a punk before, or you could have been looked at as something that everybody, you know, walked all over, stepped on, stole from, talked about, ostracized. You know what I mean? But it's going to be why you're celebrated at this point. It's going to be why you're celebrated now. What I said, you're going to have a rebirth. I told y'all, a lot of Leo energy here. Let me tell y'all something. I feel like in August, yeah, this is a pregnant person. Um, this is pregnant with life, a life pregnant with a new life for you, pregnant with an actual life, pregnant with ideas, pregnant with creativity, just uh, uh, amazing. And then I'm getting Mother Earth as well. Y'all, I don't know what this is, but I'm telling you, like, there is a whole other, and I, I do know what it is. I told y'all about this before. I really can't really, you know what I'm saying, get too deep into it. There's another earth being birthed, all right? So I, I said what I said. And for those of you that, that that's going, you, uh, you know what I'm talking about. I'm looking at it. I intuitively knew it. I was told this. It was a download. I spoke to y'all about it before, but now I'm seeing it. In August, you guys are looking at something that seems like it's going to make you very happy all right and it'll be the start of something okay with the with the knight of pentacles here it would be the start of something all right They say you have patience. This don't even, I picked that up by accident. Have patience, okay? Temper yourself. Calm down, okay? I feel a lot of anxiety coming from you guys. A lot of I can't take it no more. What the hell? A lot of that. <laughs> but relax, y'all. Just, just, just wait a little while longer. Reconciliation. Remember the source of love. A loving action is all you need to begin the process. Reach out with a simple step. action stop hesitating movement creates the magic nothing can hold you back this is that energy of i'm slipping i'm falling and i can't get up okay get me back on my feet so i can tear shit up i feel like that's what this reconciliation is about this reconciliation could also be about getting back in touch with your inner child somebody has um a disfigured arm reconcile with your happiness with what yes Oh, God. Reconcile with your happiness. Reconcile with what makes you happy. Reconcile with your fulfillment. Somebody here is, a, I, I just heard an artist in the easel. You cannot see that, you're act, that you actually should be happy. You cannot see that you have a lot of things to be grateful for. You cannot feel your worth as an empress right now. And, and like I said, it's artificial. You guys need to go to the website and, you know, really um, check out what it is that I have to offer over there. That you need to cleanse yourself. Because if you, you know, are getting to the point where you feel like you don't want to be here anymore, that's what they want. Y'all know the people, them, whoever it is for you, all right, whoever's around you trying to oppress you for their own benefit, they want you to feel that way. For those of you who are artists, singers, dancers anything high vibrational especially nurses and doctors or working in the medical field especially teachers him downstairs don't want us out here speaking the truth if you are a light worker the real kind not the ones that be sitting up here pretending like they light workers child whatever okay um not those the real the, the real ones People that's out to raise the vibration of the earth. Or even if that's not your intention. That's just how you that's just how you roll. Right? They get rewards for stopping us on our journey to being such and such. To being such. Okay? The things that I had named. They get rewards for if we want to 
if they take us out or if we take ourselves out. Or if you take yourself out the game, period. Oh, I don't want to be a such and such no more. Things is getting too hard. I, I get too much flat for being a such and such. Or every time I try to grow my career and being a such and such, I run into roadblocks. This is all artificial, okay? We're moving into a season where things are getting way, 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 way better for us. But if we aren't pure, if we don't cleanse ourselves, if we don't um, protect ourselves, we can't tell what's really going on because there's outside energies manipulating. You have to cleanse yourself. You got to get to the, you got to get rooted and grounded, okay? You got to get outside. You got to go to nature. You have to because you're not seeing this clearly. All right, so I hope that helped.